little setup in the laundry because I uh, don't have a stable floor in the shed. I uh, got the TIG set up, got a little camera mount. Um, got the little Rossi, I think it is. Yeah, Rossi Welders ACDC TIG. It's set to about um, 104 amps. Um, the other day I welded at 102 amps, so it should be about right. That is the current balance cleaning. Um, it's a Finergy um, ACDC TIG, so I'll just power it up. Got the hug on there, set the 12 litres per minute flow, 104 amps. Actually, I'll go a little bit higher on the cleaning, we'll go about there, halfway. This is what the head looks like now with the world's ground down. Um, I only had a problem with one world, I think it was this one here. Just the side of the world chipped off as I was grinding it. But um, yeah, you can see some more there. But that should be fine, like that's covering the water gallery. So they're all ground back a little bit. Um, now it's about to get a full face grind machined. So um, I'll post the picture, the video once that's done. Uh, Yamaha F80 2002 or 2003 cylinder head. Um, I had brought it in. And I just went and got it machined. Um, the guy said that it looked really good, the welds. But um, as he's machined it down, he took 12 thousandths 
of an intro. Um, you can see all the porosities uh, been, has come up in the world. So, um, yeah, it doesn't look the best, but it's okay for a first job. My first time kick welding the head. He's advised to just fill in all the holes, little holes, with JB Weld. And then take it back and he'll skim it, skim the JB Weld. Um, but yeah, he said after he took 12 thousands off, that's what it looks like. These welds were right back to real clean aluminium. But, um, yeah, you can see a lot of little holes. He said if I was to re weld it and then he machined it again, I could have the same problem with all these little holes. So he had advised to just fill the holes with JB Weld and then he'll machine it. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's how it turned out.